telling you why don't you just click the information on Google. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Badzilla. I make physics videos and animations and sometimes discussions like this about philosophy and also science. Today I would like to share with you reasons that would justify you going to college three, four, five years or anything sometimes even more in the case of medicine for example. Of course we live in an age where there is a lot of cynicism and even resentment towards college and people that even try or choose to go to university. Everyone's telling you why don't you just type the information on Google or it is better for you to open some kind of business on social media or outside of that instead of actually going to college. Now it is my belief that the people that say that are actually having usually a really bad critique of the point of education and they completely miss the point of it and it's not like you cannot open a business if you choose to go to college. But I think what they're saying which is valid is you shouldn't pursue college as a means to get you some kind of job so that you can make your living. Which is my first point. If you are following the model of I want to go to college or university so that later I can get hired for a job, then you need to lose that model immediately as a reason for you to actually join college. What you want to do instead, and it is going to be much better for you, if you make going to college the goal in and of itself. What do I mean by that? That means if you choose to go to psychology, don't say I want to be in psychology school so that one day later in the future I want to become like Jordan Peterson. Now I am not saying that it is bad to plan ahead or set like a step-by-step -step plan. But what I am saying is don't make it some kind of period where you have to suffer through until you can get the goal. Instead going to it with the mindset that it is a goal in and of itself. I joined engineering because I want to do engineering. I joined psychology because I want to do psychology. So it is not a a sacrifice of your time this is a bad model for you to take and it's also a bad idea it's gonna make it even more challenging for you and it might even affect your performance what does it mean if you go to a field and then later you don't get the job that you wanted four or five years ago it shouldn't mean that you fail just the fact that you acquired the degree that you wanted should mean that you actually succeeded in that alone and then you can decide what comes next and succeed in that too that can be opening a business and it can also be taking a job Second reason is, and this is what I observe that a lot of people actually miss, is that the training you get when you go to university is not just the education of the university itself. You are going to transform completely as a person from day one and until the last day when you graduate. So you walk in as someone and you're going to be completely something else. In the middle, the degree that you are pursuing is going to affect personality traits in you. It's going to enhance some of it. It's going to reduce some of it. You are going to gain new habits. You're going to lose habits. You're going to make new friends. And those friends are going to influence you. And you are going to influence them back. So it is all intertwined in a very developmental state and a period of your life that is, is just so transformative and that is something that you should take into account when you want to go to college. So you can set that as a goal, I want to go there for the experience. Have you noticed how people in the military are disciplined or sometimes even strict? Why do you think that is? Well that is for two reasons. Reason number one is that they already had the proclivity for this kind of behavior and that is what also made them pick going into the military in the first place and then they go into the military and then the commander basically spits in your face and moves you around and tells you you are a piece of and that is motivational for you and it actually becomes motivation so they end up being strict so what happens inside the military enhances the traits in their personality which they already had well it's the same thing when you go to university depending on the field you go to it can be seen as a training camp that will change you completely now the third reason and the last reason which is obviously not even disputable is that some fields require you to have a very specific education and a university degree. For example, if you want to go into medicine, if you want to become a brain surgeon, or if you want to become an engineer, you cannot look at YouTube videos and become an engineer. 
You cannot do a Google search and learn. There is no way around it, at least not at this time. There is no way that I know of that's going to make you an engineer. There will be, and this goes for, I'm not, not talking about only those two fields. It goes with a lot of fields, but you know what I'm talking about. There are certain fields where if you don't have the degree, you don't become the skill. You don't have the skill. That is because the syllabus itself might be set up in a very specific and certain progression and there are skills that you simply cannot find. Some of it even requires you to do applied work. For example, I remember in engineering we had the workshop and things like that. There's things that are practical that you have to do. You have to go to the lab and it is very difficult for you to acquire that knowledge without going to college. If that's the reason, if you want to become a surgeon, if you want to become an engineer, if you want to become a lawyer, don't even watch anything else. That's the only way. Just go. If you know it's your calling, go and do it. If you are an artist, for example, you can be a great, amazing and even famous artist without taking any art class because art is different to these other fields. So basically, it depends on what you want. You have to consult yourself and see what is it that you actually want and then decide if you go there or not, depending on the field itself. So that is the third point on this. So that's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and generate a discussion. If you have more reasons to go, reasons not to go, I'd love to hear those. So put those in the comment below. My second channel is also on YouTube and the, the, the link is in the description below. It is very cool. It shows a different side of me that you do not see here on this channel. It is not physics. It's where I talk about life philosophy and things like that. I really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Badzilla out.